Hi everybody, bonjour and welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to be map crunching and it's going to be a landscape. I will show you the image on the screen now and I'm using my mini sketchbook by Royal Talons to do this. And I'm going to do it across both pages. We're using gouache. So I'm just going to activate what I've got in here because I'm not going to need really thick creaminess at the moment. Just like a more opaque watercolour. I really like Map Crunch and I actually hadn't heard of it until I had been following the artist Katie Moody. And it's really useful. So I think what we're going to be doing is just plotting in with this green that's quite yellowy to start with. There are some sheep in this, so that will be fun. We're going to have here just dropping in the yellow into the already wet green. Just adding in my already pre-made darkish green, which is not from a tube, it's what I've made up myself. So it's like a bit of black and blue and yellow, just to make a darkish green. We're just plotting in the colours in our own style. We're not looking for photorealistic. Well, I'm not. <laughs> so now we're going to be adding in some of this. And you can always go over with your pencils and pens afterwards. Which is, I might do that. We'll have to see how the mood takes me. Let that dry. And I'm thinking that I might, when that's dry, start thinking about resembling the sheep in the distance. So they're just going to be white blobs, really. I do love these Royal Talon sketchbooks. They're not meant for watercolour or mixed media or anything, and yet they do take mixed media. <laughs> and watercolour. It's not going to be like Watercolour Academy, like the Royal Institute of Art standard watercolour, because it has to be on watercolour paper. But for many of the art needs, it is really good paper. I'm literally just going to do blobs on wet paper.
and then I'm going to get my burnt sienna just to add some of the twiggery and I'm just mixing that into a bit of black that's already dried on my palette Again, this just we're adding to the shrubbery. Kind of dry brush in a way. And then I'm just dabbing with this. It's really good fun to try doing these like in a group because you all create different versions. Which reminds me about my Kofi Tears. If you join it, you will be doing art projects like this together as a group, which will be exclusive. They will not be available on YouTube. Well, not publicly for everybody. Okay. So while that's drying, I'm going to be looking at maybe doing a bit more yellow now over the top of all of that. Just get like a blending effect going on. I might have been tempted if I had them to hand to use some neo colours here. So if you have them to hand, go ahead and do some of that. Now the sky is looking greyish and luckily I have a pre-done grey here that I can just again add bits to here. And then go in with this kind of skin tone there we are Now, from this distance, you can't actually tell that they're sheep. They're literally, their heads are just bent. So, I'm probably just going to stretch out the white a bit. <laughs> so, we've got lobbies there. Again, we're just having fun. Just making shapes. I cannot draw farm animals. So this is a rather fun version of doing that. And this was the first image that appeared to me on Map Crunch. So basically guys, this is why I'm leaving it.
might just add a bit of grey into here, the shrubbery. But other than that, I'm going to say thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. I hope that you'll give me the thumbs up, give me a comment, watch to the end, share my videos. It helps the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll catch you really soon. Bye! Creative wishes!